Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how easy it is to implement a forgot password functionality which is available in RSP Designer. To begin with, let's actually look at a simple application which is basically the same application we have been actually uh, continuing from a couple of other videos and if I basically log out and try to log back in and I have no idea what my password is at this point I do not have kind of forgot password feature. Let's go back to the RNSpeed application and try to implement it. It is available in your application security wizard and before you can implement it make sure each user account has an email address information available to him. So in this case uh, as we are going through the user, uh, user authentication and user authorization in the screen where we are selecting a user there is an email ID field. We can definitely basically pick whatever the email ID field it is we, uh, associated with that table and go through the drill of every single thing the same way, finish it and rebuild it. Now RSP Designer version 9x is using uh, another security mechanism which is the reCAPTCHA which is available from Google. So this way uh, nobody can basically just uh, use a web bot to uh, put in a lot of information. So what we need to do here is we need to basically go to Google and uh, uh, kind of like get our key codes generated. So if I could just go to my uh, reCAPTCHA and I can just say get a reCAPTCHA, I can basically go in and type in my domain name www.abc.com uh, and of course this will match your real domain name but in this case I can just say give me one generic domain uh, key codes and system is going to basically generate the two key codes. Now just remember that there's a public key and there's a private key and we can basically just copy the public key and private key. So now in RSP Designer, in under security, we have a user, uh, we have a page by the name forgot user. If you basically drill down to the to the panel, panel has some fields and there's a reCAPTCHA. When, but once you basically select the reCAPTCHA, you will see on the right side we have a public key and private key which is where we can go in and enter those keys that we typed in. Now just remember that this is private key and then public key whereas on the internet when we're looking at it it's public key and private key. So that's one of the things which basically I did uh, a little bit of a you know twisted uh, copy and paste and for the longest time it couldn't work. That's why I figured it's a good idea to share how to do this. Just like uh, what happened to me I'm sure there are users out there who might find this video useful. So once I've entered these two things, uh, I basically can save it, rebuild it, and now RSP Designer will automatically implement a feature for me where I can type in, uh, basically, uh, if, I am, if I have forgotten my password, as you can see, the forgot your password link showed up now. If I click on it, I can type in what my email address is, and with the simple two public private key, copy paste my reCAPTCHA feature worked so I can basically select whatever keyword I do want at that point which is easy so I can basically type in my email address as well as my keys here and I can click on send of course system may send the email may not send the email if the email is not coming back to you what you need to do is you need to check if your email is configured properly. This is the default setting which we may have to change to whatever is your email gateway. And my email gateway is an open relay it, open it, gateway, I, but if it's not an open relay you can type in your user email as well as username and password to validate. I can basically just do a test. My test message went through and uh, system is asking for some password here so I just click user email do one more time test everything's working good looks good the other thing you can always do is you can check in web config in web config you definitely have the host populated so in in my case I don't need the default credentials I can basically take it out or you can leave it the way it is let's just try to see if the email works so after you basically have uh, configured the web uh, config file or the SMTP server settings, if I basically go back to my sign-in page, click on forgot password, just run, type in whatever is the easier one, type in my email address, click 
click on send and the password has been emailed to my email address not sure if you already have watched the video the, there's another out, uh, video which I basically published uh, where we shared with you how easy it is to encrypt the password just so that you folks are aware with the logic that we implemented in the other video even if the passwords are encrypted system is automatically sending you a decrypted password so RSV has automatically taken that into consideration let's just open up our inbox to see if the email got through uh, not yet I guess we have to here you go of course it went in junk email pro probably for some other reason but we will double check on it and right here system is going to share with me uh, I can probably copy and paste this to a regular inbox and just select the my email as you can see system is basically uh, sending me all my username and passwords for which the email address is matching so this really proves it to you that uh, it's very simple to you to implement forgot password feature as well as even though the database has encrypted passwords the email can go out with the unencrypted password hope you enjoyed this video and keep looking for more to come thanks a lot bye bye